on Bulletin Board this week. From camp meeting music ministries to youth worship, the big question from our socials to holiday programs, youth soup handouts and camperies, you're watching Bulletin Board. Just finished the Himalong season three live, but I'm not finished. There's loads to cover, so let's get cracking. Hi, Hi. everyone. Hello. This is Grace, and it's coming at you at 7:43 a.m. At the Cape Town International Airport. Yes, it is Wednesday morning, and we're getting ready to hop on our 10 a.m. flight so we can get to KZN. And start planning everything. Yeah. Well, not start planning, but We've I got mean, our instrumental pattern ready. Tying up some loose ends, so we'll see you. Waiting to board the plane. With the instruments. It's traveling with the saxophone, and we've got the violin. Hi everyone, just got to the campsite here. We just did a little sound check now in church. And you we're here with our Christmas t shirts. Yeah, we're here with our Christmas t shirts, ripping the merch, here, you know. And um, yeah, we're so excited. And, and here's Emily. We're very excited. We're performing for the first time in about half an hour. Right over there. There's yeah. the saxophone and the guitar and the keyboard. It's gonna be a vibe, guys. I don't think you realize how important it is what these three young musicians are doing. They're usually based in Cape Town, and this was their first trip to another province to share what God has filled their hearts with. But wait, allow me to formally introduce you to Grace Notes. They're so organized. <laughs> A gospel group based in Cape Town, established in 2022 by multi-instrumentalists. They play more than one instrument, multi. You're welcome. Emily Jane, Rachel Ann and Christian. Love the double barrel first name community. They draw their inspiration from their backgrounds in jazz and South African music, specializing in blending these elements into their gospel compositions and arrangements. But on the long weekend of 16 June, Grace Notes took their ministry to the 2024 KNFC English Camp Meeting. Don't even start with me, no? I don't know what KNFC stands for. I think it may be KwaZulu-Natal Free State Conference, but I'm not sure at all. Don't take my word for it. The point is, have a quick look at their experience. <music>
while they were in the area, they visited Cornerstone Community Youth Church. Wait, wait, wait. Here's a proper introduction. Hi everyone, we're coming at you from Cornerstone Community Youth Church in Phoenix, in Durban, and this is Jermaine. Hi. Yes, so, so Jermaine um, has been leading out of this youth community church, so we thought that we'd just get it to tell us a little bit about it. Where you're cool, so we are currently at community, uh, Cornerstone Community Youth Church. We also have Cornerstone Center of Hope. So there's two pastors. The Community Youth Church is our outreach mission arm that we are hoping to get filled with youth from our community. And then Center of Hope is a center that is meant to be a community center that is run. Hopefully it will be seven days a week. It's currently five days a week. We offer free aerobics, free tuition for between 11 and 12, uh, healthy cooking classes, aerobics, and a multitude of other things. Yeah. So that is... Cornerstone Church, Cornerstone. that is the mission that they are having here and as Grace says we've been very happy to come and visit and play here, so yeah, thank you. Have a good Saturday. Young people are doing the things, I love this. But wait, I also want to tell you about this past Friday night. What a blessed worship experience was had. Over 60 young people from Goodwood, Parrow, Tigerberg, Belleville, Kales River and a few other churches all came together to have a night of worship. Just imagine sitting in a circle with the lights dimmed and fairy lights flickering in the background, worshipping the one and only true living God. Russell says that after a week where everyone faced different challenges, this worship session helped prepare hearts for the Sabbath blessing. Let's have a look at what went down at the Tigerberg SDA Church Youth Night of Worship. Were you there? I know we haven't yet had that intervention session for all the acronyms, no? but do you perhaps remember what SAU stands for? Worry not. The Southern Africa Union Health Convention was held at the Birchwood Hotel and OR Tambo Conference Center. For the geographically challenged, that's in Johannesburg, Gauteng. The event began on a high note, bringing together health professionals and experts for a series of insightful discussions and presentations. Those in attendance enjoyed engaging and informative programs over the course of the convention. Is there somewhere where the rest of us can also see what went down at the convention? Oh, just asking. And then last week, I found myself reminiscing about the days of vacation Bible school. And it turns out there are various holiday programs. Yeah, that's what they called now, the updated references. They called holiday programs now. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's been happening at the My Sister, My Friend holiday program.
one last thing about the June 16 long weekend. While you were still enjoying the last few moments with your electric blanket, the North Pine youth were handing out well over 150 servings of soup. Blessed by blessing others. That's how they framed it. Take a look. enjoyed collecting responses to the big question on our socials our facebook page whatsapp channel and whatsapp number what is it about your church that attracts you at the moment i am attending the second service at Haldeburg. and the one thing that really has drawn me to the church has been the music ministry I really love how the music is such a huge part of the service and it really does help to prepare your heart and mind for the sermon and to allow you to be a bit more receptive to God's word. So that's definitely something that's kept me coming back. So what attracts me to my church is that when I go to my church, I feel like I'm surrounded by people whose hearts are open. Regardless of each person's level of spirituality or personal relationship with God, when we go there, it feels like we're all on the same level, like we're all united in purpose. I feel like it's less focused on people or formalities at church, but more focused on the worship experience itself. The Pathfinder Youth and Ambassador programs, uh, the singing and doing the sound. Whatever your experience at an STA institution of higher learning, there's a beauty in making lifelong connections and building lifelong friendships. Don't be shy. You can keep on sending your answers to this question. Send it to us and we'll share it here on Bulletin Board. Check out the new series of Big Questions starting next week. You can watch the poster reel after the credits to see what's coming up, but I really just want to point out two things. First, the fourth Pathfinder Campery in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, is coming up from 13 to 19 April 2025. Listen. Yeah, I have Pathfinder Campery stories from the 1900s for you. But the time, man. So this is literally just a heads up. Let's plan accordingly, as they say, and make sure that our pathfinders are ready for an eventful experience that they will remember for the rest of their lives. And second, Blossom Bag Man. There's just something about this that won't let go of my heart. If you haven't done your monthly grocery shopping yet, yes, for our international viewers, we still do monthly shopping, but it's, it's, it's becoming more and more of a challenge, but any, I digress yet again. Add the following items to your next trolley or basket. Sanitary packs, roll-on, face cloths, soap, toothbrushes and toothpaste, and hair accessories if you have a little extra. Then contact us and we'll put you in touch with the organizers. Making a difference is such a rewarding experience. Try it. 
in news from our channel. We've had such an amazing time here at Himalong Season 3 live. You can watch it over and over and over on our YouTube channel. But let's take a quick look at some behind the scenes moments. <laughs> what are you talking about, CPR, Nolan? DN will worry about the song, but that was done. Okay. The show must go on. It totally goes on. Yes. <laughs> so, Mikhail, you were not outed as Nolan's cousin. You were Simon on how does that make you feel? Very sad. Very sad. I like to know famous guys like that. So. <laughs> Are you. Tepiso, how are you feeling about this? I'm feeling fantastically, Samari. I'm feeling very good about this. Really? Yes, especially when I'm standing next to Mr. Peterson here. You know, so. Oh, Mr. Peterson, yeah, Mr. Peterson. Peterson. <laughs> ah, Mr. Peterson. Yeah. So how are you feeling? We're excited. Okay. I am excited. That's awesome. I'm excited. Very much excited. Very much. You can see by the how, by the way I look. You know what I'm saying? Very much excited. Ready for action. Ready for action. In the next few minutes, Lisa, yeah. we'll go live. We will. China, America, they will hear us. <laughs> Watch this place. Our new shows, Pray Along and The Power of Three, are fully in production. Remember to watch our socials for premiere dates in July. And of course, a reminder that Him Along Season 4 premieres at 19.30 on the 2nd of August, 2024. And if you're looking for us in between shows, you can find us on our Facebook page, our YouTube and WhatsApp channels, and our WhatsApp number 063-484-1632. And that's all we have time for this week. Do join us next Monday at 1900 for the premiere as we take another look at the bulletin board. Credits. Poster reel. My name is Lisa Marie Smith. Lekker weer kwele almal. Dizonibona next time.